Hello and welcome to this video on Venus's transit through Purva Ashada Nakshatra. Uh, Venus will begin its transit through its um, own uh, nakshatra on the 27th of December of uh, 2017 and will continue through this portion of the sky on through the 6th of January. So how deep are you willing to go? Um, in one area of your life, there's something that you may feel a bit vulnerable about. And because you feel vulnerable about it, you are acting out. You're um, perhaps being prideful about it, right? Uh, but beneath that pride is a level of insecurity. Uh, a part of yourself that's vulnerable. And so what's happening is you gloss it over. You gloss it over and you put forward this appearance that doesn't let everybody else see how vulnerable you are, right? Now, that's pretty common. That's something that we do quite often. But basically, because while Venus is transiting through Purva Ashada Nakshatra, it's also combust, it's causing you to behave in such a manner. It's causing me to behave in such a manner. It's causing everyone to behave in such a manner in every area of their life. Now, Venus is combust quite often. And let's face it, we're afraid to show our vulnerability quite often. Uh, we quite often feel something authentically, and we don't express it to somebody else, right? We'd like to um, be recognized for something. We'd like to be understood for something. Let's face it, underneath the surface, we just all really want to be loved. And somewhere inside of us, there's this whole lot of unloved, right? I laugh at it, but it's not funny. There's this whole lot of unloved. And that's one iota of our existence that we don't want anybody else to see. We don't want people to see how we hurt. So we don this exterior, right? And we continue in actions that, let's face it, on some levels are superficial. We don't always say what we truly feel about something. Or maybe we tend to kind of hold what we truly feel inside of ourselves until we just can't friggin' hold it anymore. And then when we can't hold it, we kind of say something really tactless. That's the word I want to use. Tactless, right? Um, you don't have to be superficial. You don't have to be false. Really, what you need to do is you need to be authentic. But you can be authentic with tact. You can be authentic with diplomacy, right? But where does it all start? Boom, 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 boom. It starts right in here. Who does it all start with? Me. It all starts with me. <laughs> right? No, you know what I mean. It all starts with me. It all starts with you. It all starts with ourself. So you need to have a deep conversation with yourself, right? about what it is that you really want. The thing is, is there's a lot of factors uh, that are going on simultaneously that give you an opportunity to go pretty deep with this process, right? As Venus is transiting through Purva Ashada Nakshatra, um, Saturn is in Mula Nakshatra, okay? Um, Saturn in Mula Nakshatra is connecting with Ketu, uh, Mula Nakshatra's Dispositor, uh, which is in Dhanishta Nakshatra, which is kind of making you question, how much can I really thrive in life? How much can I really enjoy my life if I'm not true to myself? But the fact is, there's one area of your life, most especially whatever Venus is connected to, whatever Venus rules in your chart, where you haven't really been true to yourself. You haven't really carried things out in the manner that you wanted to, right? But whose fault is that? Is it somebody else's fault? No. Is it your fault? Well, fault's kind of a nasty word. Let's use the word responsibility. It is your responsibility. 
If you want something, you have to be authentic about you actually wanting it. Okay. Now, uh, connected with, you know, all of this energy, you know, you kind of follow the nakshatra chain around somewhere in the equation, right? Because Dinesh is connected with Mars. Mars is transiting through Swati and Swati is connected to Rahu, which is in Ashlesha. And that amounts to a whole lot of deep, deep energy, okay, uh, that carries you inside of yourself to the extent that you're willing to confront it right? Well, I take that back. It's going to take you there anyway, but are you going to make something productive out of it? You stand an opportunity to, right? But first, you have to be true to yourself, and in order to be true to yourself, you have to confront yourself. And quite often with Purva Ashada Nakshatra, there's this battle that we kind of go through, okay? There's this battle that we go through where we stand a chance to bring out the light in us, the essence in us, right? But we battle that. We battle that. You know, because quite, you know, a couple of different things. On one level, it means that we have to accept responsibility for something that underneath the surface, we're not really sure if we're ready to accept responsibility for because it's a burden, right? Um, on another level, when we actually accept that responsibility, it means confronting a lot of things about ourselves that maybe we don't feel so great about. Because in order to tap into our potential, we also have to confront our vulnerability. And Venus's transit through Purva Ashada Nakshatra is kind of carrying you on a certain level to a confrontation. Now, confrontation can be positive. Um, conflict can be positive. It all depends on how you handle it, if you handle it with awareness. Now, obviously, you don't want to be torn inside of yourself, so, but you do need to confront a certain aspect of your being. What aspect of your being is it? It's that aspect of your being that feels vulnerable because it hasn't had something that it has needed in a certain area of life. But nobody is going to give that to you. Right, And if you're looking for somebody to recognize all your efforts that you've put forward, for somebody to pat you on the back, for somebody to say, you've done a good job, who is that somebody going to be? It's going to be yourself. But do you really believe that you've done a good job? Do you really believe that you deserve a pat on the back? Do you really believe that you deserve to live your life authentically? And do you really feel that in living your life authentically, you can also live your life authentically without having to do it from a space of pride or arrogance? You can just do it because it's you. Now, none of us is perfect, except me, right? The rest of you, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> none of us is perfect. And... Um, Sure, you may not come through this like, you know, 100% doing everything perfectly, making no mistakes and having no pride about anything at all. But that's not the idea. The idea is awareness. The idea is paying attention. And the idea is making an effort. That's going to do it for this look at Venus's transit through Porva Ashada Nakshatra. If you'd like to understand a little bit more about what this particular transit might be about for you, uh, please do feel free to schedule an astrological service uh, through the astrological services page of my website. You should see a link in this video somewhere towards the end that will take you directly to my astrological services page. That's going to do it. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now.